So I've been a skeptic of time tracking ever since I've heard of what time tracking is. Basically, the idea of time tracking is when you work, you track your time on whatever you're working on. Pretty straightforward. Um, for a lot of people, they use that information to decide, you know, what's worth working on. So like, does a project take way more time than what you expect and what you get out of that project is it not worth the investment of that? And, you know, to me, I always thought like, I was like, I don't need that. Like I have an idea of how much time I spend on each video in my head. I, ha I know how much time I spend in my day job. I know all this stuff. I, I don't need some service to tell me what I'm doing. Um, but there's an app that came out called Timery, and I wanted to try it out because I figured there would be a lot of people that would be interested in time tracking, and I was just going to do a walkthrough of the app. Nothing special. But then I started using it more and more, and I actually started to like the idea of time tracking. Um, I started to realize, you know, I wasn't spending as much time as I thought I was in certain areas on certain video projects and my podcasts and stuff like that. Um, I always thought I was spending more time working on this stuff and it was kind of interesting to see how that information was being displayed for me what I was getting out of that and how I was able to adjust my schedule so I can get more stuff done in less time if that makes sense I could spend my time more wisely if, if that's probably the best way to put it but before we talk about the app timery that came out we need to talk about the web service toggle toggle is the web service I've been using for time tracking you'll need a toggle account for timery in a bit I use this as the back end for my system. This keeps track of the time I've spent on projects and shows me reports. Toggle's reports are very good and are very handy for showing you how much time you've spent on what and where. These reports can become invaluable if you work hourly and have to bill your clients yourself. I found out that I was working a lot more than what I thought I was and I was just wasting a lot of time. With time tracking, this helped me get back on track. You could use Toggle as the end-all be-all of your time tracking system, but I think their app is pretty bad, especially on iOS. But this is where Timery comes in. Timery is the main event to my time tracking system. Here is where I set up all my projects, tags, everything for my setup. A couple of quick notes before we get into it. Let's go into the settings first. If you plan on using the subscription, I would enable the show tags name feature. We'll get into this more in a bit. A quick side note, this app is very usable without a subscription to the app and a free toggle account. I do subscribe to Timery, but I just have a free toggle account. Now let's talk about setting up our projects. If you have clients that you'll need to do time tracking for, go ahead and enter those here first. Next, go into projects and add all of your active projects. I keep my projects pretty broad and use tags to refine the specific tasks. I have several tags for video projects, my podcast, and website. I don't do any sort of time tracking for my day job because I know eight hours a day, Monday through Friday, I'm there. This is really to help me get a handle on how much time I'm spending on my own projects. Once you've got it all configured, go to the Save Timers tab. This is where the magic of Timery comes in. Hit the plus button in the top right corner and start configuring preset timers. For me, I have four around video projects with different tags, then a few for my podcast and website, and a personal one as well. In the future, I want to experiment with clients using these four specific videos. That way I can see how much time a certain video has taken me. But for right now, I'm leaving everything pretty broad. These save timers make it really easy to jump between projects. If you forget to start a timer or need to change something, just start the right timer, tap on the info panel at the bottom, and make the adjustment that you need. You can add a description to the specific time entry if need be. This could be as simple as just adding a reminder about what you're doing. The time entries tab shows a few days worth of data. This is by no means a replacement for toggles reports, but it is a convenient area to see how you've been spending your week and fix any mistakes in any entries that need to be fixed. Now that we've got time re set up, let me show you how I use it. I run all my projects right out of time re's amazing widget. You can start any of the save timers right from here, and of course you can stop them as well. I find that I don't have to open the app that often, maybe once a day, mostly just to fix a mistake or see how I've been spending my day. I find using the widgets removes a lot of the friction that comes from using some sort of time tracking app. The widget makes it just quick and easy to trick your brain into making this a part of your workflow. Now I will fully admit it took me a couple of weeks to get in the habit of going to the timer and I still forget sometimes, but timing makes it easy to fix that. 
with the shortcuts update coming in iPad OS and iOS 13 later this fall, there'll be a handy new trick that can make activating timers even easier. You can now have a shortcut run when you open a specific app. So anytime I open LumaFusion, I can have a trigger to start my editing video timer. Or if I open Ferrite, I can have a menu asking me what I want to do, and then I can pick between starting a podcast timer or recording VO. You can have this work in all sorts of situations. If you get to a specific location, shortcuts can send you a notification telling you to run a shortcut to start a timer. I'll be making a more in-depth Shortcuts 3.0 update video coming later this fall. So why did someone like me that really just didn't even like the idea of time tracking stick with it? Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I realized I wasn't spending my time wisely. I, I was kind of just wasting a lot of time, and this kind of helped me come to that sort of realization. Also, when I have a timer going, my brain just clicks that, hey, this is what you need to be focusing on because you have a timer for this thing, whether it's filming or editing or writing or whatever. If I have a timer going for that, that's what my brain thinks I need to be doing. I could absolutely just not pay attention to the timer, but then that would kind of defeat the whole purpose of time tracking. So by thus forcing me to pay attention to the timer, it keeps me on task. And as somebody that has a hard time staying on task, this gets a huge thumbs up from me. I like time tracking. I like the t combination of toggle and timery. Of course, there are dozens, if not hundreds of other different kinds of time tracking services and web services and apps and all sorts of different things. Um, but you guys know me, I'm very iOS focused. This is the best iOS time tracking app I've tried. I'm curious to hear from you all if you've tried time tracking in the past, if you've stuck with it, if you're gonna try it in the future, what you're going to track, things like that. Let me know in the comments below because I'm really curious to hear how other people are doing it. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.